Hello scientists, this is Scientific Illustrator John and I know you're here for the tutorial so let's jump right in. Start with a rectangle. Let me use red so we can see better. The lower part, draw a rectangle as well. Uh, a triangle. Okay. Then we have the uh, pointed uh, end pointing down. And then you know just fit it like this. And then uh, I'll switch to the direct selection tool and the shortcut is A. You can drag on this round corner widget to make it rounded. Mm, this is a little bit too long. I will do the same thing for this rectangle. We actually need like a, a curved connection between the cap and the, and the tube. So it's better to create something like this 1.5 that's good i'll select this anchor point and just de delete it then i will uh, outline the stroke so now it also become an uh a shape object yeah and for the cap i'll just make a copy of this a little bit important that is we need to make it a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit longer like that. There's this place that you can push the cap open. This part needs to be a little bit uh, protruding out of the original shape. And now we can turn it 90 degrees or uh, whichever degrees you want it to be. So now it's transparent so you can see it through. It's a little bit distracting. I'll just put white into all the shapes okay great then uh, this part you know the uh, the part that's uh, helping helping the uh, tube to seal with the cap just copy one of these and then put it here move it to the back Okay, and then uh, these two, let's now connect them together. So I'll select both of them and then go to Pathfinder tool, Unite, okay, not bad. And then uh, there's something that I will do here is that I need to make sure there are only one anchor point here. Okay, see, there are two. Uh, just remove this one. Okay, I'll select these two anchor points and then you can uh, use the round corner widget to smooth them down a little bit. Okay. And I'll align them to the middle. Very nice. Okay, and um, for the outline, let's just use a gray color. Where can I get my grays? There. Oh, they have a little teeth over there. Put something in the M-Pen drove. Faster way is to create a shape and for example, it's a blue solution. And just make a copy, uh, make a copy of this and use the Pathfinder tool to uh, intersect that part. Like that. Now there's a white outline right there, so. And I can remove the white in the Impendrolf tube. And then send it to the back like that. Um, maybe a little bit lighter.
in the example we saw, it was they use an even lighter gray to indicate the amp and drove are transparent. So we can also do that. You know, like very light gray. So now it looks uh, like the, it's actually like the color that you see from the side of uh, the amp and drove. Okay, first we can apply some gradient. And then, you know, it's all gray in the amp, in amp and drove. So that's, let me put this here. That's too gray, like that. Okay, that's better, 50%. Let's do this. So now you see uh, it looks <laughs> a little bit more 3D. And then we can do the same thing here. And here I'll just like copy this with the eyedropper tool. So we turn it 90% and maybe a little bit to the side. Play with the uh, handles here a little bit. So it looks like there's a like a smaller uh, part and that uh, that's what we usually see on Drove 2 like the part that's clipping together these ones they're just the same as these so I'll just copy it like that and this one um, it's the same as this but the uh, but it should be slightly lighter make a copy of this and I decrease the opacity and then with the uh, solution it should look like this because as you goes deeper into the amp and drove uh, there are less solution so then you see uh, it's become more transparent now usually at the tip they have like a darker shadow over there like that and uh, that's too much I will just quickly fill in the scale okay that is how Empen drove I'm actually quite happy about it thumbs up subscribe social media down below I look forward to seeing you there